Sai Ram children, welcome to online session. Today we will continue with our chapter 1, Rational and Irrational Numbers. In the previous session we have studied about natural numbers, whole numbers, integers and rational numbers. So what are rational numbers? The numbers of the form m upon n are called rational numbers. Here, m and n are dash, but n is not dash. So, what will come here? m and n are integers and n is not 0. So, this thing you have to remember in, keep in mind. m and n are integers and n that is denominator is not equal to 0. Today we will study about comparison of rational numbers. So remember, for any pair of numbers on a number line, the number to the left is smaller than the other. For example, 0 lies to the left of the positive numbers. So 0 is smaller than the positive numbers. Similarly, negative numbers. They lie to the left of 0 and positive numbers. So negative numbers are smaller than 0 and positive numbers. If numerator and the denominator of a rational number is multiplied by any non-zero number, the value of rational number does not change. For example, A upon B is a rational number. Here it is given A upon B is rational number it is multiplied by k so both the numerator and denominator are multiplied by k the rational number is multiplied by k k is not zero so that you have to keep in mind next the following rules are useful to compare two rational numbers so if given two rational numbers are there a upon B and C upon D. So here A upon B is one rational number and C upon D is another one. Such that B and D are positive. So we have to keep in mind that denominators B and D are positive. And so what are the rules? First thing A and D. See by cross multiplication A and D. AD multiplied by BC. So what relation AD has with the BC? So A and D, B and C. Let's see. If A into D is less than B into C, then a upon B is less than C upon D. So if A and D is less than B, C, then A upon B is less than C upon D. If A into D is equal to B into C, then A upon B is equal to C upon D. If A into D is greater than B into C, then A upon B is greater than C upon D. So, what relation AD, A into D has with BC? That relation, the fraction A upon B will have with C upon D. Let's start with practice set 1.2. Compare the following numbers. The numbers given are negative 7 and negative 2. So, both the numbers are negative. If A and B are positive numbers such that A is less than B. If for example A and B are positive numbers such that A is less than B then negative A is greater than negative B. So what relation A and B is having? A is less than B. But in case both the numbers are negative then Negative A becomes greater than negative B. 7 is greater than 2. 
7 is greater than 2. But now negative 7 will become less than negative 2. So answer is negative 7 is less than negative 2. Next one. 0 and negative 9 upon 5. Now one number is 0. One number is negative. So we know a negative number is always less than 0. A negative number is always less than 0. So answer is 0 is greater than negative 9 upon 5. 0 is greater than negative 9 upon 5. Next. 8 upon 7 and 0. One number is 8 upon 7. Another number is 0. So 8 upon 7 is positive number. A positive number is always greater than 0. Always remember positive numbers are greater than 0. So a positive number is greater than 0. So the answer will be 8 upon 7 is greater than 0. 8 upon 7 greater than 0. Next, negative 5 upon 4, 1 upon 4. Now, one number is negative and one number is positive. Negative 5 upon 4, negative number. 1 upon 4, positive number. And we know a negative number is always less than a positive number. A negative number is always less than a positive number. So the answer is negative 5 upon 4 less than 1 upon 4. Negative 5 upon 4 less than, which sign will come, less than 1 upon 4. Next number is 40 upon 29, 140 upon 29. The numbers are 40 upon 29, 141 upon 29. Now both the numbers are positive. So now what we have to do? We have to check the denominators. And denominators of both the numbers is same. Denominator of both the numbers is same. 29. And when denominators are same, compare the numerators. So here the numerators are 40 and 141. 40 is less than 141. So when 40 is less than 141, so 40 upon 29 will be less than 141 upon 29. So the answer is 40 upon 29 is less than 141 upon 29. Next question. 15 upon 12, 7 upon 16. Now here also both the numbers are positive. Both the numbers are positive and then what we do? Check the denominators. Are the denominators same? No, the denominators are also different. 15 upon 12, denominator is 12. 7 upon 16, denominator is 16. So denominators are also not same. And if we will do the formula AD, so you are having big numbers. So to calculation and all will take time. So what we will do is, first we will reduce first rational number 15 upon 12 to lowest term. So when we reduce 15 upon 12 to lowest term, let's divide them with 3. So when we divide 15 upon 12 with 3, 15 divided by 3 upon, this is upon, upon 12 divided by 3. We are dividing it by same number. And if you divide numerator and denominator by same number, the rational number remains the same. So, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 15 divided by 3, 5. 12 divided by 3, 4. So, this rational number 15 upon 12 
is reduced to pi upon 4. Now what we will do? This reduced rational number pi upon 4, we will multiply it with 4. Because second rational number is denominator is 16. So if we get the equal denominators, we can compare numerators. So what we will do? Pi upon 4, multiply with 4. So, 5 upon 4, that is 5 multiply with 4, 4 multiply with 4. Multiply both the numerator and denominator 4. 5 fours are 20. 4 fours are 16. So, what we have got is now 20 upon 16 and 7 upon 16. These are the two rational numbers. Now, the numerators are same, 16, 16. So, compare the denominators. 20, 7. Which number is greater? 20. So, 20 upon 16 is greater than 7 upon 16. 20 upon 16 greater than, that is 20 upon 16 greater than 7 upon 16. Now, 20 upon 16 is for which rational number? First one, that is 15 upon 12. So, 15 upon 12 is greater than 7 upon 16. 15 upon 12 greater than 7 upon 16. So, here what we have done is, first we have reduced 15 upon 12, first rational number divided by 3. And then, the answer which we have got 5 upon 4, multiplied with 4. So, that we got the equal denominators. Once we got the equal denominators, we have compared the numerators and got the answer. So, 15 upon 12 greater than 7 upon 16. Next number is 12 upon 15, 3 upon 5. So 12 upon 15. Now when we say 12 upon 15, 3 upon 5, both are positive numbers. So if both are positive, we try for the common denominators. Now what about the common denominators? 12 upon 15, denominator is 15. 3 upon 5, denominator is 5. So, denominators are also not same. Then we will check the denominators. Are they multiples and all? So, 15. 15 is multiple of 5. So, what we will do? Second rational number 3 upon 5 we will multiply with 3. Both numerator denominator multiply with 3. So, 3 into 3, 5 into 3. So, 3 3 is a 9. 5 into 3, 15. So, what we have done is, second rational number 3 upon 5 multiplied with 3. Numerator multiplied with 3. 3, 3 is a 9. Denominator also multiplied with 3. 5, 3 is a 15. So, 3 upon 5 rational number is now equal to 9 upon 15. Now, are the denominators same? Yes. So, first one is 12 upon 15. Next is 9 upon 15. Now, denominators are same 15. Compare the numerators. Numerators are 12 and 9. So, 12 is greater than 9. 12 is greater than 9. So, 12 upon 15 is greater than 3 upon 5. So, now you write the original rational numbers. 12 upon 15 and in place of 9 upon 15 we have to write now 3 upon 5. So, 12 upon 15 is greater than 3 upon 5. Next one. Negative 7 upon 11, negative 3 upon 4. Here both the rational numbers are negative. One is negative 7 upon 11. Next is negative 3 upon 4. And now if we will check the denominators, one denominator is 11, another is 4. So 11 and 4 are co-prime numbers. They don't have anything in common. So, when they don't have anything in common, then we will use the formula of AD and BC. So, here your A is negative 7. This is the first rational number A and B. So, A is negative 7. B is 11. Now, next rational number that is a C is negative 3 and D is 4. And it is a convention that keep your denominators positive. So, it is negative 7 upon 11. Denominator should be kept positive. Negative 3 upon 4. 
4 denominator positive. So here A is negative 7, B is 11, C is negative 3, D is 4. Now we will use the formula of AD. So multiply A with D. So AD is negative 7 multiplied by 4. Now multiply negative 7 with negative 4. Answer is negative 28. 7 4s are 28 and it is negative. So negative 28. AD is negative 28. Now multiply B and C. B is 11. C is 3, negative 3. So multiply 11 with negative 3, it is negative 33. 11 3s are 30, that is 33 and minus is there. So negative 33. Now the numbers what you have got is negative 28, AD is negative 28 and BC is negative 33. Now which number is greater? AD is greater. Negative 28 is greater than negative BC, right? Negative AD is greater than BC. That is, 28, negative 28 is greater than negative 33. Why? Actually, we know 33 is greater than 28, right? But when both the numbers become negative, negative 28 is greater than negative 33. So, our answer is, that is negative 7 upon 11 is greater than negative minus 3 upon 4. Because when we say AD is greater than BC. So AD stands for first rational that number that is negative 7 upon 11. So negative 7 upon 11 is greater than negative 3 upon 4. So here we have learnt. Comparison of numbers, if it is a negative number and 0, we know negative numbers are less than 0. Or what is the relation? 0 with positive numbers. Positive numbers are greater than 0. Otherwise, see the denominators or make the denominators equal. Or use the formula AD and BC. What relation AD is having with BC? That relation first rational number have with second rational number. Here is an assignment for you to do. Compare the following numbers. Numbers are negative 17 upon 20 and negative 13 upon 20. That is minus 17 upon 20 minus 13 upon 20. Now here both, both the denominators are equal. You see both the denominators are equal. Both are 20. So what we will do? Compare the numerators. So numerators are negative 17 and negative 13. So what relation the negative 17 have with negative 13? Yes. That is negative 7 is less than negative 13. If both are positive, 17 is greater than 13. But now both are negative. So negative 17 has become less than negative 13. It means negative 17 upon 20 is less than negative 13 upon 20. So this is assignment question. Next assignment question. Negative 25 upon 8, negative 9 upon 4. So what you do? Both the numbers are negative. Check the denominators. Denominator of first number is 8 and denominator of next number is 4. Both are equal? No. But 8 is multiple of 4. So what you are going to do? 9 upon 4, this rational number, you are going to multiply with which number? 2 because denominator is 8. So 4 twos are 8. So you are going to multiply negative 9 into 2 upon it is 4 into 2. So when you multiply negative 9 into 2, the answer you get is negative 18 upon 4 to the 8. Right? 4 to the 8. It means you are getting negative 18 upon 8. Right? Now both the denominators are equal. So check the numerators. Numerator is here negative 25 and here it is negative 18. So what relation they are having? 
negative 25 is less than negative 18 because both the numbers are negative so negative 25 upon 8 is less than negative 9 upon 4 because 18 upon 8 negative 18 upon 8 stands for 9 upon 4 so this those assignment sums we have to do thank you children we conclude our session here so take good care of yourself sai ram